What is going on guys? Welcome back to Tempest TV and man, I got a bit of a doozy for you today and I'll tell you what, the trolls are gonna have a field day in the comments with this one. But today we're talking about if you're coming to Thailand and you actually wanna meet some girls, we're gonna break down how to do that. Let's ride. Disclaimer. The things in this video are not gonna work for every single girl. Obviously, everybody's different, but I wanna give you guys an idea on how to actually get out there and meet some girls and make some friends, minus the obvious way to do that. I'm talking about non-transactional friends, if you know what I mean. Obviously, it's Thailand. There's tons of people here. There's a real like weird stigma that every pretty girl that works here is a working girl, if you don't know what that means. That's not really this video. You're gonna have to go Google that one, but obviously that is so not true. And today I'm gonna throw you a few pro tips how to navigate the very interesting and somewhat intricate dealings with Thai girls. Okay, so obviously the first thing you need to do, just like any time when you're going out and trying to meet women, you need to establish what you're looking for, okay? So this is very, very important. Obviously, don't end up hanging out with somebody more than you intended to or in a situation and then all of a sudden you're catching drama. Don't get it twisted, there is an idea, especially with Westerners, that Thai women are like super submissive and you can like do whatever you want and they don't care. That is not true. They're just like any other women. If you do them wrong, they will let you know and they are more notorious for really not being happy about it. So establish what you're looking for and obviously be honest when you do meet somebody. If she asks a question of what you're looking for, there's no point in lying. It's just like anywhere else in the world, you can find somebody that has like-minded ideals for what you are trying to do so just be honest, man. I see guys do this all the time. They get into a situation, they lie to a girl because they feel like I have to, and then all of a sudden they got drama, drama, drama. So don't do that. The next big, probably most important thing you need to do is learn how to distinguish the different types of ladies that you're gonna come across in Thailand. So obviously, there's girls who are working. It is their literal job to meet you and take care of you and make you feel special. And there's girls here who are looking for husbands that are genuine, but they're looking for somebody to take care of them, make babies with them. Not a bad thing at all, but they are here. They're everywhere in the world. And then there's girls who are looking to just have fun and date and kind of do like the low key dating, which is more of like the Western standard that we're used to. So there's all three. And then obviously there's girls who don't want to date, but you need to learn how to distinguish who's who and there's no real like black and white way I can explain that to you. The only way you're gonna really figure that out is if you go out, hang out, spend time around people, observe, 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 and then after a while you'll kind of notice the patterns and then it becomes a little bit more easy. Yeah, but first things first, learn the difference and make sure that the girls you're approaching are aligning with the things that you already decided you're looking for. Okay, so you've decided what you're looking for. You've kind of learned what different types of girls, how they operate and the things that you'll see from girls who are going out and dating with different intentions. Now that you've decided that, where do you, where's the best place to go to meet them? So obviously, bars and clubs are a thing just like they are in the States. It's not a bad place to meet girls. It's not a good place to meet girls depending on what you're looking for. But there, if you go to like clubs and stuff, especially Pattaya, Bangkok, you'll meet girls of all different types. You'll meet girls who are from out of town that just came to party and have a good time with their girlfriends. You'll meet other girls that are there working, trying to find people. And then you'll meet other girls who are maybe there just having a good time, might want to meet a guy. And then you're going to meet girls who have no interest in going to the club and meeting guys. So club's an all right place. It's, in my opinion, a better place to kind of end up if you've already met somebody. Do the whole like dinner, movie, that type of deal. And then go to the club after you guys can hang out, maybe grab some drinks and party but it is not impossible to meet women at the club that's pretty obvious number two dating sites so this is a pretty good one there are some caveats to it for sure i'm a big proponent in tinder i think it's a really good way to meet people in general not even necessarily if you're trying to date but there are plenty of people on tinder that are just looking to make new friends and i think that's a great way to do it even if you go out on a first date you realize you kind of maybe don't line up perfectly for what either you guys are looking for it's really easy to stay friends with thai girls which is really important for one of our future points in this video that is probably the best way in my opinion to meet girls especially especially when you're in other countries. But Tinder's pretty good. Only thing is, one of the caveats with dating sites is they are very, very prone to scams. 
So obviously, if you meet a girl online, there's no real way you know that's the actual girl. One good way to figure this out, make sure it's not a fake profile, is to take one of her pictures, go drop it in a Google image search, and make sure that it's not popping up as any other people. Nine times out of 10, those scammers use the same photos, so you'll see 20 different profiles with the same name, and obviously, it's not that person. Obviously, never send anybody money. Let me say that again, never send anybody money. I don't care how sick her family's buffalo is, don't send anybody money over the dating app. But most of the time, from my experience, the dating apps are a good way to get out there. And this is also a good way to start talking to girls before you even get in country. So it's a good way you guys can kind of talk, see if you get along really well, and then you can set things up for when you actually get here. Another great way, in my opinion, is kind of just in the normal like day-to-day -day life. Say you're like hanging out on the beach, maybe you're you know going to like one of the national parks hiking some waterfalls and stuff like that those are really easy because there's people there that are obviously on the same vibe as you they're either there to relax or explore it's not necessarily like a go-to spot for girls who are working to kind of look for customers so that's super easy and the nice thing about most thai girls compared to a lot of girls from western countries they won't get offended if you approach them in public they're not afraid to talk to strangers obviously don't be a creep but if you just walk up strike up a conversation generally they're pretty friendly and like this doesn't go for just girls it's a really good way to meet people in general walk up find some common ground I'm a big like clothes guy that's always my shoe in hey I like your sneakers or you know whatever it is um, super good another cool thing here is if you're a car guy lots of Thai girls are actually into modified cars and that is a really easy way to strike up a conversation I have actually met a super pretty Thai girl here in John Tien she had a super super sweet Miata that had like nitrous and nice wheels and everything and it was super easy to talk to her and now we're actually friends on Instagram so I can get updates on car shows as well as like when she's going out and stuff so make as many friends as possible but don't be afraid to approach girls in public just don't be a weirdo just a quick break real quick to remind you guys if you'd like to support the channel the best way to do that is go down and drop a subscribe below I checked our analytics recently and a very big amount of the people watching these videos aren't subscribed unfortunately I think it's like 80% or something like that if there's something that I can do to change your mind to get you to go down and beat up that subscribe button feel free to drop it down in the comments below if there's different content you would like to see different styles of vlogs I know I've been doing the uh, talking head vlogs for a while but that's only because my shoulders injured but very soon we'll be back out in a I'll be exploring. I'll be showing you guys more of Thailand, Pattaya, Bangkok. So if that's something that you're interested in, you know what to do. Thank you. And my personal favorite, I think the best way to meet girls not only in Thailand, but in the world in general, is friend groups. Make friends with people. I don't know how many people that I've got introduced to through mutual friends, and then you're already kind of shoe in because if you're friends with somebody else, there's a little more trust there. So like I said earlier with the dating app things, even if you end up hanging out with somebody and you're not, you don't end up being super interested, stay friends. It sounds kind of lame or kind of shady, but that girl's got friends or any guys that you meet, they have friends. They introduce you to their friends. The bigger circle you have, the more access you have to people. And I think this is just a very genuine way of meeting people as opposed to if you are, if you do get nervous or it's hard for you to talk to new people, it's much easier to obviously meet them in a friend environment. And then it's easier to just kind of open up, be yourself. You know you already got friends there, so you don't really have to worry about it. And I think this goes for the women as well. It makes them much more comfortable. They're not kind of like put on the spot. So I think that's the best way. When you get here, just make as many friends as possible. Go out, try to find some new hobbies, find some like-minded people. They'll introduce you to their friends and their friends and their friends and so on and so on. And then before you know it, you got a super good circle. All right, guys, so I know this is a, a topic of conversation. I get asked about it a lot, but really it's not that big a deal. It's not that much different than your home country, minus the girls that are working. And if that's something that you're into and you like the transactional aspect of it, that's great. It'll work out perfect for you. I think the biggest thing is, is you just need to learn how to identify the difference between the two. The thing about working girls is they are generally very straightforward with what they're doing. They're not gonna try to, you know, get you home and then trick you. It's not really like that. So they would much rather be upfront and if you're not interested, they can go somewhere else to try to make their money. They're not really interested in wasting your time or their time when they could be off making money. Besides that though, it's pretty straightforward. It's not really any different than your home country. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Tempest TV. Like we said earlier, if you'd like to support the channel, you know how to do that. I do upload daily content every single day. If you'd like some more short form content and updates on what I'm doing in my day to day, feel free to go ahead and hop over to my Instagram. Twitter, TikTok, I'm active on all those platforms. And I also do live streams here on YouTube twice a week, uh, Tuesdays and Saturdays for me. So that's probably Mondays and Fridays for you. As always, I hope you guys have a great day. Tell somebody you love them. We'll catch you in the next one.